Hey people, and um, back with a little update on this problem with the animation timing issue that I posted recently. Um, in the meantime, I uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that animation that I was um, working with the last time. So uh, this cover crouch left uh, cover rifle cover left rifle animation. Uh, in the meantime, I um, tried to do something. Um, like uh, export this one, uh, like save. So I'm not doing anything with it, just uh, exporting it. And for now, let's just say no to this, uh, so I don't get that uh, mesh exported. And uh, if I make a new scene here, and I import that. I noticed that it, well, if I opened it inside Maya because it's really visible in here, um, that uh, the keyframes does not seem to be on uh, exact frames, so they are kind of uh, all over the place. And I think maybe the reason why this uh, anime I can't get this uh, cropping inside Unreal to work is because this uh, particular animation, which is a Mixamo animation, either it's not originally recorded uh, in 30 frames per second, but it was exported at 30 frames per second. I'm 100% sure about that. And also, I, uh, my playback speed is uh, 30 frames per second, and my time working units is uh, 30 frames per second. And I, as far as I know, Unreal Engine works in 30 frames per second uh, inside the animation editor. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so if I go into the animation graph editor and I just uh, well just uh, zoom in on anything really, uh, get really really close to the end here. I think this might be the reason why it bugs out on me in when I try to do that. Um, operation I showed in the last video. This is not ending at, at, at exactly the, the last frame here. Actually, it's it's off by an entire frame. Um, so, um, I guess, uh, I, I, I believe that's part of the problem. And um, so I tried to, uh, just to also mention a little bit of what I tried to um, see if I could fix this. Um, so what I did was to say, okay, I can uh, this, I found this uh, menu on the edit, what is called uh, snap keys. Uh, I don't know if scale three, what does that do? Uh, okay, no mind. Um, so if I uh, snap keys, it's gonna, uh, update the keys here to now be on whole frames and I can see that it uh, it made a hole inside here because probably the rounding is gonna uh, shift them off a little bit so this is actually gonna as far as I can tell this is gonna uh, in, uh, modify the entire animation which I'm not really happy about um, uh, but if I check inside my animation graph editor again and then zoom in and to see what it did. Now put the, the last keyframe exactly on frame 35 now. So now my animation is not 34 frames, uh, which, it, which it may not have been originally because uh, I'm not entirely sure. Well, it starts at zero and seems to end at 34, but I think in the says 34 keys, but I think it has 35 keys. Well, at least it looks like it, it does. Um, because I think, I just think the, uh, the UI in, in Unreal Engine is forgetting to take into account that we have a zero and then we have, uh, when we are on that last frame, then we have a total of 34, uh, five keys. So if, so if I were to go ahead and say, okay, I want to work with uh, 34 keys. Um, and we also have a zero, so I need to have 34 here. 
So if I were to um, go ahead and, and export all that back, um, let's call that um, frames mapped, frames mapped. Um, maybe I could shift all the keys from here down to I'm not really happy about this uh, approach here, really. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and import that just to see if it's it's now looping. Um, and this is just want to emphasize this uh, that it is not the way I want to work with it. It's uh, I think it kind of sucks. But anyway, it looks like the animation is looping, and I found that it's really hard to tell. It, it, um, and just look at it, 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 it may seem fine, but until you switch down to very slow here, you will sometimes notice there's a hiccup in the, in the movement, and a, a very um, seasoned animator would spot this uh, in real time, but I'm not anywhere close to that, so I need to do this. <coughs> so, um, also, just to talk a little bit about what I'm trying to accomplish here, which may uh, may uh, 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 make this a little bit more sense. Um, let's get rid of this because I'm I'm not really happy about that. Um, so let's go back again and uh, say, okay, I, what I really want to accomplish here, and the reason why I ran into this problem originally. Is that I want to take this animation here and I want to combine the the movement of the arms here from this animation. I want to combine that with uh, an animation that I have on um, uh, say this animation here because I want to have him uh, walk around uh, in a crouched state uh, carrying the rifle as, as he was uh, in combat and. Um, that's what I'm trying to accomplish really and um, both of these animations are looping um, this one is also uh, looping without any hiccups um, so let's just take a look at that yeah. it's looping all right but the thing is this animation is uh, 38 keys long and the other one is 34 keys long so I need to adjust them to, to match together so that's one of the problems I want to uh, uh, um, tackle here. And the other problem is that um, if you may, you may have noticed that my uh, animation um, here with the rifle as it's set up here is uh, the rifle is not al aligned up with the left hand. And that is because this animation is coming from Mixamo and the way I fitted this gun was according to the uh, free animation starter pack um, so the the gun is positioned where that animation was uh, recorded so I need to uh, adjust this uh, Mixamo animation so that it matches up with the the hand here uh, and the way I uh, want I figured out to approach this in the beginning I didn't really have any idea how to do it and there may be another way to do it but I um, what I did was to uh, create a template inside Motion Builder and uh, bring in this, you may uh, recognize this animation. Um, this is the free animation, whoops. Uh, I think I swapped something. Uh, let me just unparent that one. Okay. Um, so this animation here is uh, the free animation starter pack and what I did was to bring in that, that animation and also import the gun and then fit the gun uh, as close as I could get to that um, um, animation here so it resembles the position that the rifle have, has inside Unreal. <clears throat> um, and what I then try to do is to fit uh, also import the other animations and then refit the, the left hand in here. <clears throat> but the problem with that process is that um, if I just export my animation, uh, I have another video showing this, but I think it gives a bit of a good context uh, to this problem. Um, so 
if you're watching this and you see something um, I'm doing wrong or could do in a way better or easier way, I uh, really hope that you will um, comment on this video because <clears throat> this is this is really bugging me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so um, I kind of lost track of what, what I was going to say. Um, okay, yeah. So if I just take this animation here and make a raw export of that. Ah, I already did that. Okay, so in, anyway, if I do that and I um, import that uh, motion uh, into Motion Builder like this and just merge it in. First of all, it's going to jump back. That's why I have this. Um, keep moving this back and forth uh, in between that and, uh, uh, null object here um, anyway so here we have him again standing uh, up right and as you can see now the the, the rifle is fitted uh, but it's not aligning up as it is inside uh, unreal it's actually fitting in a little bit better and one thing also you will notice is that um, if you uh, watch the fingers, finger joints, they are looking really weird. And you can see also the wrist is dislocated. And um, also this one is dislocated as you can see. And you can also see that uh, it's on the feet. And this is where you may recognize uh, the problem with this uh, process. And I already tracked this down to be uh, caused by the fact that um, if I show an, uh, advanced options here, I can see that um, my mannequin skeleton is using an animation from a Maximo and I uh, retarget all the these animations onto my skeleton with these translation retargeting settings here. And I believe this is what you will uh, usually run into unless your animations are perfectly matched to your model uh, which uh, in most of the times uh, from for me because I'm picking up animations from all over the place uh, and I'm trying to make some myself also uh, so in any way this is causing me a lot of trouble um, so the reason um, I'm saying all this is that I found out that you can actually kind of run this by um, recording uh, this animation here so if I uh, say uh, record and call this let's give it an X in front and on left and then hit play then it's recording now I'm just letting it run a few cycles here and then I'm gonna stop it that's gonna create um, this uh, animation here Okay, and as you can see, uh, once it's it gets going, it's uh, cycling nice and uh, easy as it should be. Okay, so um, if I were to export this now and um, see if I could bring that into Motion Builder, so export that, and uh, it's the one with the X. So um, Motion, I'll import that see it has a lot of frames um, I could try and, and fix this um, um, inside Unreal but as far as I could tell uh, all the tr uh, attempts I made uh, every time it seemed to uh, end up not looping at all so um, <clears throat> as you can see here uh, first of all the, the feet and all that stuff is, is back in place as it is uh, it has recorded the animation with the um, translation retargeted uh, settings uh, for the skeleton and all that and I can recognize that the, the rifle in, in this animation is off uh, very similarly to uh, what I have in uh, in here so it's it's kind of in front of the hands so this is what I actually 
uh, looking for. But the problem is now that uh, I want to make this animation loop again. And um, if I... Actually, what I want to do first of all is um, because I kind of like the the story uh, here, so I'm gonna I have a, this character characterized, so I can uh, insert a character animation track and select that, and then take this and dump here. Um, so the reason why I like the story. Tr uh, for this is that it's, it, make, it makes it easy to okay I can see my motion starts here so I'm gonna move one frame back and um, I'm gonna select the clip and uh, hit the racer so I can just get rid of that and then I can move that all the way to the beginning so frame zero um, and I know that my animation was originally um, 40 uh, 34 frames long so if I just set it to this and hit play it should be looping but as you can see it's it's actually not looping anymore so my initial thought that was that okay maybe something is wrong with the first frame or something so I, what if I just said okay shift this to frame one and then, then increment this one uh, one key and see okay does it now uh, loop and it does actually seem to make it a bit better so um, let's see uh, what does this goodness um, one moment I'm a bit confused now because I set this to one and this one was saying zero. Uh, hang on a sec, if I frame this start and end so it starts at zero. No, no, I, that's not what I wanted. Uh, frame five. As far as I can tell, this is looping now. Um, but it may not. So I um, I want to change the speed here down to really, really slow. And it does actually not loop. You can see there's a little pause there. And I think that's because there's a double key in the beginning. Um, actually, there's not. There's some motion there, but maybe there's in in the end, yeah. So again, I think this is caused by the fact that the animation is a little, it's ending on a sub key or a in between key. Um, so one way I can, I found out that I can kind of work my way around this, is to say, okay, um, Let's say I want this animation to be, and this 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 is the part where it really sucks because I I I really hope there's a better way because it's a lot of work for me to do, uh, and maybe I'm it's just because I'm doing something wrong. I I really don't know, to be honest. Um, so anyway, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set my uh, slider here to um, thirty four, and. Uh, since I know the next part here is going to loop, uh, I'm going to try and... Um, oh, actually, let me just try this because I haven't tried this. Uh, let me try and raise this up here and then move this back. So since I know the rest is looping, so theoretically this should be working. But it's not. Damn it. Okay. Uh, God damn it. Okay. Mm. Okay. So I can't do that anyway. So what I'm gonna do is instead, um, I know that if I just let it continue here like that, it is gonna loop. So if I continue from here past that point, it's I'm not gonna get any hiccup. Uh, well, if I let it continue to like frame. 
50. So start here at, at uh, so I, I mean I in the middle of the cycle it, it doesn't jump at all. So uh, I'm gonna assume that um, this is something I don't really know how to, to work with. So I'm just gonna say, okay, instead I'm gonna raise this up at, at the middle here. And uh, so in the beginning here of this take, this um, uh, this take here, I'm gonna say, okay, this is probably gonna match up. And I'm gonna say, okay, let's see, just some some of it, um, basically. And just gonna raise that up and gonna take that and then move that to the beginning. So what that will do is to blend in the, the end here with the beginning of that take here, uh, that little piece here. And that should make this uh, transition seamless. Okay. I don't know if you can see the, the difference, but I can um, at least. It's not, now it's not jumping. So, uh, but yeah, as I said, it's it's an awful lot of work, if, I think, just to get this uh, this out. So anyway, I'm just gonna work my way around this for now, and I hope that somebody is watching this and will comment on it. Um, so, uh, since this is the first time actually I can I managed to do this, I'm gonna plot this to my uh, take. And then cross my fingers that it's still working. Now I have a uh, story off again. And um, yeah, now he's looping again. But you know, this is, uh, this is yeah, as I mentioned, a lot of work um, to have to go through to get a, a, a looping animation to loop again just because I need to, uh, um, yeah, um, make a little change to it. So, um, yeah, um, comment, please. Uh, I know a lot of uh, kick-ass animators uh, out there. I uh, watch your videos uh, when I found th find them, and uh, I hope you will uh, watch this and be able to point out what uh, I'm doing wrong. So, um, be um, seeing you on the chat, and uh, thank you.